So for safety reasons, the first thing that we need to do is remove things. And if you have earrings as well, remove them. Any long hair, please, in a ponytail, so it's safe, you don't get cut. This exercise is um, about stereotomy. Stereotomies are a really interesting uh, way of understanding uh, volume by making uh, slice, slices uh, out of it. Um, they can be very, very complex. Um, so for the moment, uh, we will start making a very basic one, out of, um, a cube, basically. Um, so I draw here um, eight squares which I will cut, obviously, and then I'll show you how to make some extra cuts just to assemble everything together. It's, it's quite simple, this exercise, so let's cut. If you find that, like now, my knife is not cutting properly, you can see here that it's, it's, it's um, tearing apart the material, not cutting it. You can see it here. Um, that means that the tip of your of your blade of your knife is is gone. So you probably know how. I'm just going to show you in case. Um, these knives have uh, divisions on the blade, and that is. Um, to be able to grab with a piece of pliers, just get the, the division slightly out of, of your knife, get the pliers and just twist like that. So you have a brown a brand new point there, sharp to cut properly. What is going inside? This is a really good example of a stereotomy. Um, I must say that this is not mine. I didn't make this. It was here in the school when I arrived, so I don't even know who made it. But I think it's, it's very well done. Um, it's um, very, very uh, precise made. And adding the complexity of having different angles uh, for these uh, kind of slices. Um, also here is is pretty impressive. This this is a really really nice job, um, and this is a very interesting way of understanding the volume of the object that you're making and showing it to somebody else. And it's just cardboard, and it's all a matter of um, skills, motor skills, uh, just to be precise enough to create something like this. So uh, once you have those skills developed, this shouldn't take long to do. I mean, the, obviously the more complex, the more time, but it's a, it's a very nice way of, of showing your designs to other people. So what I want to do is to slice this in, in this way. Um, so what I have done here is mark uh, four slices, because I have eight um, uh, squares, so there will be four horizontal and four uh, vertical. So what I will do is um, trace, well I did this trace the center line, but, um, and just half of it, because the other half will be the other, uh, the other square coming in. Um, but remember that material has a thickness, so just tracing or making just one cut won't be enough. You have to give the, the material thickness uh, here into these slides. So it's a um, two millimeter um, task board. So I, I draw the center and I have made these lines, these dots here with the thickness. And I will just use my square to draw the thickness of that material. It's so just um, laying your square on this edge, just moving it until you get the point here where you want and then just tracing it. Obviously I'm doing it in the air so his material is bending. So there. 
Just a looking in you Just a looking outside Just a going inside the street law what is going inside okay so you can see here that at the rear uh, the taskboard just broken um, so you can just clean it up a little bit and if you see that it's just simply too much just repeat the piece it's, it's, um, it's hard to say why it happened this material is very very soft so just try to get the knife as, as uh, sharp as possible, uh, so cut the bit that, uh, as I show you. But you saw I did that and even that, this happened. Um, so as I said, uh, if it's just too much, I'm sorry, you will have to repeat the piece. Um, but if not, it's, it's fine, no, it's, you can just continue. So now I have to do the same thing in all the others. Using the same piece that you first cut it, you can use that as a reference to draw the, the following. Just have to be sure that everything is aligned. And when you draw with your pencil, uh, if you do like this, there will be a separation between the tip and uh, the actual line that you want. So you have to make a little angle like that. So you get the line exactly in the position that you need. Don't forget to press so it doesn't move. and use the same side don't flip it over in case there is any difference and draw uh, first all of it all of them and then cut them. Um, this is the template let's say and, and it's important to have always the same template so you have the same piece see the black and you Justice looking outside See the black in you Oh, it's gonna outside Okay, now it's all about cutting So I have all four, uh, sorry, or all eight uh, pieces cut um, And the rest is um, pretty straightforward uh, what you need to do is just slide one piece in you have to be careful that obviously is aligned and these first four are very easy it gets a bit trickier when you get to the next one here uh, because you have to slide in this edge and then be sure that it's aligned also inside here so it's not blocked so you have to be patient if you push too much it will break it will bend it's a very soft material so have to be patient okay and um, after you put all of them you will have these edges that um, you know, they move, they don't align. Um, it's a good idea to put a drop of, of uh, glue, align them all, put a drop of glue on both sides. This will happen here with this other side. And um, so you have everything everything aligned and nothing nothing moving. Now, one, one um, very basic mistake. So these squares are 10 by 10 centimeters. Um, and I have four, so the, the uh, classic mistake is that you divide 10 uh, divided by 4 which will give you 3 slices so be careful because when you want to have these 4 slices you have to divide it by 5 so um, you have 2 centimeters uh, 5 spaces give you 4 slots it may seem a pretty straightforward thing but I have seen many many people making that mistake so let's continue this is just a matter of patience, aligning everything, 
properly. Turn it around and see what's going on in all places. Last one. Push the line. Okay, there you are. This is what I meant. You know, um, it would be a good idea to measure and put a little mark. It should be two centimeters, what, the, what I just said. So this should be here, okay? This, for example, this piece should be here. So by doing a little mark, you can align it, just a drop, just a tiny drop of uh, glue, and that will be enough. Both sides, remember, both sides. And once it's dry, I'll show you, because we need, we need to get a little bit of uh, nicer finishing than that. So I'm gonna glue all this. I'm gonna wait 15, 20 minutes for the glue to dry. Um, it's going to be basic white glue. And um, after that, I'll show you how to finish this a little bit more. So this is, this is the final um, of our stereotomy. Um, and as I said, it's, it's a little bit dirty in the sense that there are a, bit, a little bit of, of um, material here, uh, the edges. So uh, the finishing that I want to say, I want to show you is just sandpaper. Uh, this material is, is very soft, so we just need to sand a little bit these edges to make it look a little bit nicer. And that's pretty much it. Um, as I said, this exercise is, is quite simple. No need to complicate it. Don't, don't give weird dimensions. Keep it simple. You know? 10 divided in two, things like that, okay? And that's pretty much it.